Welcome, dear dreamers. Have you ever wondered if the bustling city could be your gateway to the deepest sleep and most tranquil meditation? Tonight, you're invited to discover a hidden corner of urban serenity. Imagine a high rise where groundhogs don chef hats and squirrels are pizza tossing pros. This isn't just an ordinary evening. It's an exclusive journey to relaxation, crafted by the most adorable pizza lovers you've ever seen, and it's beginning just as the city lights dim. Step into cosy city lofts and candlelit pizzerias, where our furry friends mix, knead and bake their way to pizza perfection. If you're ready to leave the day's hustle behind and embrace a world of comfort and calm, let the soothing rhythm of the city at night rock you into a state of deep relaxation and peaceful dreams. As twilight paints the city in hues of lavender and gold, we find Gary the Groundhog, the renowned chef of Dreamtown, in his element. Inside the cosy embrace of his kitchen, where the wooden floors creak like old storybook pages, Gary stands atop a sturdy stool, his little heart fluttering with excitement. The oven emits a warm orange glow, a beacon of homeliness in the bustling cityscape. Gary's kitchen is a treasure trove of culinary wonders, pots and pans hanging like metallic vines and spices lining the shelves, each jar a promise of flavour and zest. The groundhog dons a pristine white apron, a badge of his culinary dedication, as he tenderly slides a handcrafted pizza masterpiece into the oven's heart. With a chef's hat perched atop his head, he looks every bit the maestro of his craft. The soft hum of the city outside fades into a distant murmur, and the kitchen becomes a sanctuary of serenity. The gentle bubbling of the cheese atop the pizza sings a lullaby of simplicity and joy. The tangy aroma of the tomato sauce mingles with the sweet scent of basil and oregano, creating an olfactory symphony that celebrates the earth's bountiful gift. In the quiet clatter of utensils and the rhythmic chopping of fresh toppings, Gary moves with a mindfulness that reminds us to take pleasure in the process, to find meditation in the act of creation. Each slice of tomato, each shred of cheese, is placed with intention and care, as if Gary is painting a canvas of culinary delight The timer ticks away, not as a countdown, but as a reminder to breathe, to be present, and to anticipate the joy of sharing. Gary closes his eyes and takes a deep breath, letting the warmth from the oven embrace him. A gentle reminder of the hearth and heart of home. As we observe Gary in his element, we are reminded to find solace in our rituals, appreciate the art of slowing down, and prepare ourselves for the restful embrace of the night. With every tick of the clock and every rise of the dough, we are invited to let go of the day's toils and sink deeper into the plush pillows of peace and rest. The oven dings softly, and with oven mitts donned, Gary retrieves his golden and inviting creation. He sets it on the counter to cool, the steam rising like whispers of thanks, an offering to the night. In this moment, as the city's heartbeat slows and the kitchen bathes in the satisfaction of a job well done, Gary the Groundhog teaches us the most valuable lesson 
that in the simple act of baking a pizza, we can find a meditation, a momentary retreat from the world, and a step closer to the dreams that await us in the slumbering quiet of the night. In the heart of the city, nestled between the glow of street lamps and the shadow of skyscrapers, lies a small apartment where Sam and Sally, the squirrel siblings, embark on a culinary adventure. The setting sun streams through their kitchen window, casting a warm golden light that dances across the walls, adorned with memories and mirth. The kitchen is alive with the sounds of the city evening chorus. Yet within these four walls, a different kind of music is composed. Sam and Sally, with their aprons tied and their spirits high, are orchestrating a pizza that is as vibrant as the city's pulse. The flower dusts the air like a gentle snowfall in the city, covering the wooden kitchen table with a layer of white that glows in the dimming light. Rolling pins in pour, they smooth out the dough with synchronised strokes, each turning a note in their symphony of slices. The dough rises and falls, a landscape of potential beneath their nimble hands. As they adorn their pizza canvas with a medley of toppings, each ingredient is chosen with a delicate consideration. A tribute to the bustling diversity outside their window. The plump tomatoes, the crisp bell peppers and the bold pepperoni are placed with an artist's touch. A mosaic of the city's unending colour and flavour. The oven preheats with a soft hum, promising the transformation to come. It's an alchemy of heat and taste, of texture and aroma. Sam and Sally chatter and chuckle, their laughter a melody that weaves through the clinking of cutlery and the shuffling of feet. A reminder that joy can be found in the creation, not just the consumption. In the peacefulness of their preparation, there is a mindfulness that quiets the mind and soothes the soul. Spreading the sauce in concentric circles, of sprinkling cheese like the first snowflakes of winter, becomes a ritual that centres and calms them amidst the city's ceaseless rhythm. The siblings sit by the window as the pizza bakes, watching as the day gives way to the twinkling of stars and streetlights. The scent of their baking masterpiece fills the room, a fragrance of home and heartiness, comfort and care. This moment, this scene of serenity amid the city's symphony, invites us to take a pause, inhale deeply, and find tranquility in the tasks we undertake. Sam and Sally's shared endeavour is a gentle nudge to embrace the present, cherish the companionship and prepare our hearts for the restful night ahead. With the oven's bell, they are beckoned back to their creation. Now a golden circle of deliciousness that promises to delight the senses. As they take their first bites, the flavours burst forth. A celebration of their labour and love. A feast not just for the body, but for the soul. And so, as the city wraps itself in the velvet cloak of night, the squirrel siblings of Dreamtown remind us that even in the most ordinary of actions, there is a meditation to be found, a peace to be embraced, and a slumber to be welcomed. Deep within the bustling heart of Dreamtown, where the neon lights flicker like distant stars, and the sounds of the night weave through the alleyways, a haven of tranquility exists. This haven is the home of Greta the guinea pig. 
nestled on the quieter side of the city, where the clamour fades into a gentle hum and the pace of life slows to the rhythm of contented heartbeats. Greta's apartment is a mosaic of warmth and comfort, with soft cushions scattered across the floor and windows that frame the cityscape like a living painting. As twilight deepens, she lights a candle, its flame casting a cosy glow that battles the encroaching shadows, turning her small kitchen into a sanctuary of calm. On this particular evening, Greta has decided to indulge in the simple pleasure of a homemade pizza. The dough, prepared earlier with care, sits plump and risen on the counter, waiting for her gentle touch. She moves around her kitchen with an ease that speaks of familiarity and love, a dance she performs nightly, but never tires of. With each ingredient she adds to her pizza, Greta whispers a wish. The tomato sauce is spread with hopes for peace. The cheese is sprinkled with desires for joy. The vegetables are placed with dreams of harmony. Each topping, a vibrant testament to the bounty of the earth and the richness of life, is chosen not just for its flavour, but for the emotions it evokes the memories it stirs. As the pizza bakes, the aroma fills the apartment, a scent that is at once comforting and invigorating. Greta settles into her favourite armchair by the window, the fabric worn from years of use but still impossibly soft. She wraps herself in a blanket, the fabric a patchwork of colours that mirror the city lights outside. The oven timer dings, a soft sound in the quiet of her home, and Greta retrieves her creation. The crust is perfectly golden, the cheese bubbling in a symphony of warmth. She cuts herself a slice, the steam rising in spirals, carrying with it the promise of satisfaction. As she takes her first bite, the flavours burst upon her tongue. Tangy, sweet and savoury all at once. It's more than just a meal. It's a moment of bliss. A slice of serenity amid the chaos of the city. With each chew, she closes her eyes, letting the sensations wash over her, a meditative practice that grounds her in the now, in the sheer delight of being. This slice of bliss is Greta's nightly ritual, a sacred time where she connects with herself, with the world around her, and with the gentle pulse of the city. It's a reminder to us all that amidst the hustle and bustle, there exists the possibility for peace, for a deep, restful calm that prepares us for the dreams to come. As Greta savors the last bite of her pizza, the candle beside her flickers softly, its light a beacon of hope, of rest, and of the infinite possibilities within the simple act of making and enjoying a meal. The night wraps around her like a comforting embrace, whispering of sleep's sweet promise, guiding her gently towards the restful haven of dreams. Beneath the canopy of Dreamtown's twinkling skyline, where the hum of the city mingles with the whisper of the night wind, a small cosy restaurant tucked in a cobblestone alley comes to life. This is Henry the Hedgehog's domain, 
a culinary gem known to those who seek solace in the rhythm of the night. Henry's kitchen is a testament to his passion for pizza, a craft he approaches with the precision of a master and the heart of an artist. The walls are adorned with pictures of his culinary triumphs, each dish a memory, each memory a step on his journey to this moment of nocturnal creation. The oven, a traditional brick hearth, radiates a warmth that fills the room, its glow a beacon for the weary and the dreamful alike. Tonight, as the city bathes in the soft luminescence of the moon, Henry is embarking on a creation that surpasses mere food. His pizza is a tapestry of flavours, each ingredient hand-picked for its quality and significance. The dough nurtured throughout the day lies before him, soft and pliable, ready to be transformed under his skilled hands. With a gentle touch, Henry begins to shape the dough, his movements deliberate and full of intent. The rolling pin glides across the surface, each roll a stroke of intention, pushing and pulling the dough into a perfect circle that serves as the canvas for his nocturnal masterpiece. As he layers the sauce a rich and aromatic blend of tomatoes and herbs, Henry reflects on the journey of each ingredient, from earth to kitchen. He sprinkles the cheese, a medley of mozzarella and parmesan, with a reverence that elevates the act to a ritual. Each vegetable, from the crisp bell peppers to the succulent mushrooms, is placed with consideration creating a mosaic that captures the essence of the forest and the garden. The oven awaits, its mouth agape like the entrance to another world. Henry slides the pizza onto the stone with practiced ease, closing the door on it with a soft thud that seems to echo through the quiet kitchen. The wait begins, a period of anticipation that Henry fills with reflection. He cleans his station, each wipe of the cloth a stroke of gratitude for the day's blessings and the night's peaceful toil. The aroma of baking dough and melting cheese soon fills the air, a signal that Henry's creation is nearing completion. He watches through the oven's glass, a silent observer to the magic unfolding within. This moment, the transformation of simple ingredients into something sublime, mirrors the transformation he seeks within himself, a quest for peace, for fulfilment, for a connection to the world around him. Henry dons his oven mitts and retrieves the pizza when the timer dings. The golden crust, the vibrant toppings, and the tantalising aroma are not just a testament to his skill, but to the beauty of taking time to create, nurture, and share. As he cuts into the pizza, the crust crunching under the blade, Henry knows that this dish is more than sustenance. It is a vessel of his love for the craft, a love he shares with every slice served. The restaurant, though small, is a haven where souls come to find comfort in the food, the warmth and the quiet companionship of the night. In the silence of the kitchen, with the final dish prepared and the last customer served, Henry finds a profound sense of satisfaction and peace. His restaurant, a beacon in the night, stands as a reminder that in the heart of the city's ceaseless rhythm, there are places where time slows, where the hearth glows with the promise of rest, and where dreams can be nurtured, one pizza at a time.
As the clock strikes the magical hour when the bustling city begins to whisper its good nights, the pizzeria owned by our diligent hedgehog, Henry, transforms into a tableau of serenity and warmth. The restaurant, a quaint corner of Dreamtown that thrives under the moon's watchful eye, now basks in the glow of accomplishment and the satisfaction of hunger stilled. In the dim light, the kitchen stands still, a stark contrast to the flurry of activity it witnessed just moments ago. The ovens, the heart of this culinary haven, now dial down their fiery dance, their warmth lingering in the air like a soft embrace. The once sizzling hearths now murmur quiet lullabies, their duty fulfilled as they cradle the last of the evening's creations within their stone chambers. Henry, with a sense of tranquility enveloping him, moves through the kitchen with a grace born of countless nights spent in the company of dough and flame. He methodically cleans and stores each tool, each pan, and each plate, imbuing the act with a reverence that speaks to the soul of the pizzeria. This ritual, performed under the watchful gaze of the fading embers, is not just a closing down of the day's labours, but a meditation on the craft, on the joy of feeding both body and spirit. The final pizza of the evening, a masterpiece that encapsulates the essence of Dreamtown in every bite, rests on the counter. Its golden crust radiates a warmth that seems to defy the cooling night. This pizza, holds within the stories of the night, the tales of laughter and whispers of dreams shared over slices and soft drinks. Outside, the city's pulse slows, its inhabitants retreating into the embrace of homes and beds, leaving the streets to the moon and the whispering wind. Inside, the pizzeria stands as a beacon of light, its windows a portal to a world where time is measured, in the rise of dough and the simmering of sauces, where every meal is a celebration and every night is an ode to the simple, profound joy of creation. As Henry extinguishes the last light, casting the kitchen into shadows kissed by moonlight, he pauses at the doorway. Looking back at the domain of his passion, he feels a deep, resonant connection to every stone. And as Dreamtown drifts into sleep, the pizzeria too settles into its own restful state, dreaming of dough yet to be kneaded, pizzas yet to be baked, and stories yet to be told. It is in this moment between the closing of one day and the dawning of another, that the true essence of the pizzeria reveals itself, not just as a place of business, but as a home for the heart, a haven for the soul, and a beacon for those who seek comfort in the glow of the hearth and the company of dreams. As the nocturnal ballet of Dreamtown reaches its final act, the characters of our story, Gary the Groundhog, Sam and Sally Squirrel, Greta the Guinea Pig, and Henry the Hedgehog, converge in a secluded courtyard, nestled between the whispering silhouettes of the city's ancient buildings. Here, under the soft caress of the moonlight, a scene of unparalleled tranquility and companionship unfolds marking the end of their individual journeys and the beginning of a shared reverie. The courtyard, bathed in the gentle luminescence of string lights entwined with ivy, transforms into an enchanted garden, 
a secret slice of peace hidden away from the world's prying eyes. At its heart stands a rustic wooden table worn by time yet steadfast, around which our friends gather, each bearing their own pizza masterpiece, a symbol of their unique stories, skills and hearts. Gary, with his sunrise creation, brings the warmth of the morning light, its golden crust and vibrant toppings, a reminder of the new beginnings that each day holds. Sam and Sally, with their mosaic of forest flavours, offer a testament to the joy of collaboration and the beauty of shared dreams. Greta's Pizza, a canvas of garden treasures, speaks to the power of mindfulness and the richness of savouring each moment. And Henry, with his nocturnal specialty, weaves the magic of the night into every bite a tribute to the quiet hours that offer solace and inspiration. As they sit down, the hustle of the city seems to fade away, leaving only the sound of rustling leaves and the soft murmur of companionship. With each slice served, laughter and stories flow freely, weaving a tapestry of connection that blankets them in warmth and belonging. In this moment of communal bliss, the characters find themselves enveloped in a profound sense of calm. The worries of the day, the noise of the city, the endless march of time, all melt away, leaving behind only the purity of the present, the joy of connection, and the peace of knowing they are exactly where they are meant to be. The courtyard, with its flickering lights and shadows, becomes a sanctuary, a sacred space where the magic of simple pleasures is celebrated. Here, the lines between individuals blur, united by the universal language of food and the timeless rhythm of friendship. They share not just their pizzas, but their dreams, their hopes and their stories, each one a thread in the ever-expanding tapestry of their lives. As the night deepens and the moon climbs higher in the sky, a serene silence settles over the group. Full bellies and content hearts mark the end of their culinary journey, but it is the peace that fills their souls, the deep restful calm that preludes the gentle embrace of sleep that is the true culmination of their evening. In the quiet of the courtyard, under the watchful gaze of the stars, our friends find themselves drifting into a state of meditative tranquility, their spirits buoyed by the laughter shared and the memories made. The city around them sleeps and they too are ready to succumb to the night's call, comforted by the knowledge that they have found a rare and precious thing, a moment of perfect peace in the heart of Dream Town. And so, as the curtain falls on their night of pizza and companionship, they part ways, not with farewells, but with quiet smiles of gratitude each carrying with them the serene light of the evening, a beacon to guide them through the dreamscape and into the promise of a new day. As the symphony of the city's nocturnal whispers draws to a close, the courtyard now dimly lit by the remaining embers of companionship and the soft lunar glow, stands as a testament to the evening's serene revelry. Our friends, each with hearts as full as the moon overhead, begin to disperse into the velvet embrace of the night, carrying with them the warmth of shared laughter and the quiet satisfaction of souls nourished not just by the food but by the profound bonds of friendship.
and as Dreamtown sinks deeper into slumber, our friends find themselves adrift on the gentle currents of sleep. Their dreams are mosaic of the night's tapestry, vibrant, comforting, and imbued with the essence of their shared experience. In the quiet that follows, the city itself seems to breathe a sigh of relief, its heartbeat slowing, its spirit embracing the calm. In the hush that envelops Dreamtown, there lies a promise. A guardian of dreams, and a keeper of the peace that descends after a day well lived. A promise that no matter the noise of their day, the bustle of life, or the countless paths that weave through the tapestry of existence, there will always be moments of tranquility, of connection, and of simple, unadulterated joy. Good night, Dreamtown. May your slumber be peaceful, your dreams be sweet, and your awakening be to a world that glows with the promise of wonder, friendship, and the endless possibility of today.